What up Ninja Clan and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. I am as always your host the Atomic Ninja G and today well we're gonna start our episode with a bit of a montage. Um, since our last episode since yesterday I have done a ton of training. I have spent countless hours uh, training up some Pokemon and leveling up. I've got some evolutions in the can. We've got some new Pokemon in the box. So take a look at this montage. I've got some stuff that I'm super excited to show you and I will see you on the other side. One, two, three. Yes. All right. How Lucha live quietly without flocking together. They fight constantly with their natural enemies, noisy groups of primate. All right, cool. Oh, okay, cool. Tinkertink is evolving. All right. What are you evolving into? A very angry thing. Okay, a Tinker Tough. Okay, cool. Well, hello, Tinker Tough. Fairy and Steel. These Pokemon make their homes in piles of scrap metal. They test their strength. They test the strength of each other's hammers by smashing them together. Oh, that's new. Okay, I have been up and down this path loads and loads of times, and that has never been here before. So let's pull it out and see if anything different. This is our first one. A uh, thirst. Our third one. So there's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Yes. So what happens? You pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. So that's our third one. I mean, I've been up this part loads and loads of times. And I've never seen that before. So that's just appeared out of nowhere. Interesting. The story continues. <gasps> Is... <gasps> okay, I just found a shiny Turos. I mean, Tauros are hard enough to find as it is. It's a flipping shiny Tauros. Come on, get on the ball, my friend. Um, and I have to remember to go buy some more of those because I've only got two left. One. Yes! <laughs> oh my days. I just caught a shiny Tauros. <laughs> okay, here we go, people. Our very first Aqua Tauros of the game all right literally this is insane so i know this is edited oh come on get in the ball all right that's fine um i know this is edited uh however this is literally like two to three minutes after i found that shiny tauros so i found the shiny tauros i caught it i moved up the path a little bit to go to the pokemon center and now we've caught ourselves an aqua tauros it swims by jetting water from its horns. The most notable characteristic of the aqua breed is its high body fat, which allows it to float easily. And the weird propeller tail, and the weird bobble horns, and the blue bits off its neck. But apparently, it's fat. That's what's the most notable, noticeable thing about this Tauros. Fighting and water. Oh my days, people. It's a good day to be a Pokemon hunter right now. Yeah. It gups down stagnant water and generates electricity in its body. A sound like a rhythm played by a bass guitar reverberates all around. Oh, that's cool. So the one with the blue spines has a different... Um... Pokedex entry. Oh, Tinker Tough is evolving. Okay, cool. And Tinker Tuff becomes Tinker Tank. Oh wow, <laughs> that's really cool. Tinker Tuff evolved into a Tinker Ton. All right, Tinker Ton. The hammer tops 220 pounds, yet it gets swung around easily by Tinker Ton, as it steals whether. What? Oh, it steals whatever it pleases and carries its plunder back home. I don't know. Yeah! 
If you lick the ice covering its face, you'll find it has a faintly salty taste. This species rode here on ocean currents from a cold, faraway land. Why would you lick its face? It's an ice kit. What is wrong with the people who wrote these Pokedex entries? <laughs> yeah, awesome. Cloacher's claws will regrow if they fall off. The meat inside the claws is edible, but it has a distinct flavor that doesn't appeal to all tastes. Okay, awesome, Lucario time, <laughs> yeah, lucky you. A well-trained one can use its aura to identify and take in the feelings of creatures over half a mile away. It nests in horizontal holes warmed by the geothermal heat. Foes who get too close can expect to be pounced on and bitten. One. Yay. When attacked, it launches its spikes in quick volleys. Its innards have never been seen. So welcome back. And I am so, so glad that you guys got to see that. I'm so glad that I got catching that shiny Tauros on camera, on video. Oh my days. I lost my mind. If you hadn't noticed and um as promised i'm going to make that shiny how to catch a shiny video how to know what a shiny pokemon is etc etc i'm going to make that video um and i'm probably gonna release that full um the full showing of me catching the tauros and losing my mind all the way through uh, just for you guys to enjoy but for now you can see that my team is significantly leveled up this is my elite four team this is the team that i'm taking in um to take on the elite four uh this is what i'm going with so really quick i'm going to show you my box so even though i did a whole ton of training i did not manage to get everything to level 60. so uh that's my regular team so we got lucario talonflame garganackle raichu tinkerton and dragonite also managed to get gengar and pomo and Gyarados up to at least level 60 and these guys here they are all at least level 50 uh, I think yeah level 50 is the lowest one um, so I will work on those you may also notice that I have moved my Tauros that I have been using and I've swapped him out for my shiny Tauros uh, which I have also spent a lot of time leveling up so I'm excited to be using him in regular battles as we move on. Some of you also might be wondering, if you know me really well from the last couple of episodes, you will know that I don't like to catch the fully evolved forms of Pokemon. I like to catch the lowest one and then train them up and evolve them as time goes on. And the eagle-eyed of you will have noticed that Cloyster is not the, the first evolution. What am I doing? I'm going to the map. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, that's because I saw Cloyster in a raid. I've not seen a Sheldar anywhere. Where do I want to go? I want to go to the Pokemon League, right? So where is... Oh, it's over here. Uh, Alright, how do we get up there? Have to climb the wall, maybe? Let's go here. Uh, so the Pokemon League... No, not the Pokemon League. The Cloyster is obviously not a Sheldar, and I would like to get a Sheldar. However, whilst I was training, I also discovered how to breed Pokemon. So, not in today's episode, but uh, in a future episode, which may be tomorrow, uh, we are going to be breeding some Pokemon, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, we're going to go through some stats and stuff of breeding Pokemon. So, wait, is it up there? Is that it? Um, I feel like it's over there. How to breed them and all that kind of stuff in a future episode. But for today, if you hadn't guessed already, we are heading for the Pokemon League. We are going to battle Nimona. And we're going to see what the League has to offer. Uh, will my level 60 Pokemon... Can you not jump up here? Be able to hack it. Um, oh, I think I'm... Am I going the wrong way? Oh, it's up there. Okay. It's fine. It's up there. 
Will I be able to hack it? Will I be able to do it? Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> so far, I'm an expert at pushing the wrong button. So, <laughs> that's the one. Is that button? No. What do I do to pick things up? Why am I... I am epically fit. There we go. Oh, and it was a Pokeball. All right. You would think all this time I have spent playing this game that I would be able to navigate picking up an item. <laughs> Oops. No, nope, someone went to the door. Ah, no. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> all right. Today's video, how to epically fail at playing Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. We're over the ridge. Fantasmic. Okay. So there's Pokemon up here. I'm assuming they're going to be high levels, right? Because it's a Pokemon League. And it might give us an idea of what level they are. It's level 8. What? Why are they level 8? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's uh, I mean, like 50 odd levels above. That seems really weak, but outside the Pokemon. I'm in the right place, right? Am I in the right place? Yeah, Nimona's there. That's there. Okay. So, I mean, I couldn't always get you. Uh, taking on the lead. Yeah, are you maybe... Let's battle you. Okay, you look like you've got promise, kid. Let's give you the challenge to grow on. Or whatever he just said. I wasn't fully paying attention. Uh, okay. Like Alright, so you've got to be like... What? Oh, 56. Yeah. It's really bizarre to me that that guy's Pokemon is level 56, but the wild Pokemon are like level 8. That's so bizarre to me. Right, so what is a Crocodile? What is that weak to? Um, let's, I like Aura Sphere. It's one of my favourite moves for Lucario, so let's use that and see what happens. Oh, it's really good against it. Okay, excellent. Um, that was the way to go with that, then. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, Serulage. Uh, I feel like I should know who that is. I feel like when I see it, I'm going to know it. <gasps> oh! Okay. So that's what Charcadet evolves into. That's the violet specific. Now, if I remember correctly, it is Ghost, right? Um, all right, I'm pretty sure it's a Ghost type Pokemon. I want one of those. Um, doesn't affect him, so fighting doesn't affect Ghost. Oh, of course it doesn't. Oh, I'm a moron. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Duh. Uh, right. Let's use Bullet Punch and see if that does anything. Boom, boom. Uh, not very effective. Okay, so I want to send up some of dark, basically. Um, oh, my days. Does it get HP back? That is such a cool move. All right. I so want one of those Pokemon. This Pokemon is one of the reasons that I chose this version of the game, right? Uh, hmm. Okay, so let's send out Garganapple because he has Curse, which is a... Oh, no! I don't want Ghost. I want Dark. Oh, you muppet. <laughs> Never mind. It is what it is now. Uh, the move it doesn't affect. So let's see what happens. Oh, please don't take me out now. Although there is a Poker Center right there, so maybe I should have gone to the Poker Center first. Um... Yeah. See, now I'm starting to rethink. Because if they have a ghost Pokemon, Gym Leader, what happened to the curse? Like that. Yeah. Critical hit. Use curse. A speed fell. And my attack rolls. Okay. And his defense rolls. Uh, okay. It's my favourite move, so let's do that. Okay, cool. Salt cure the thing. So at least it'll take a bit of damage. Every flip in heck. Okay. 
Never mind taking a bit of damage. It's going to take all the damage. Uh, yeah, but that Pokemon is one of the reasons I chose Violet over Scarlet. Uh, because I love the look of that one. Oh, it's a bronze on. Oh, that's that big blue bell thing. Uh, I seriously dislike the big blue bell thing. Uh, probably should have taken out Talonflame, but I'm going to let Garganaka do his thing first. And then we'll send out Talonflame later. Is. Oh, let's use Earthquake. It's super effective. Okay. Hopefully Earthquake will affect it, because it is levitating off the ground slightly. So hopefully... There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Happy days. Alright. Good, good, good. So not exactly the perfect flawless victory that I was hoping for, but it was good enough. I do feel like I should get some dark moves in here. Uh, did you get some growth out of that? Yeah, I did. Thanks. Appreciate you. And all that you're doing for my team. Right, let's get to this Pokemon Center. While I reconsider my team. <laughs> You've arrived at your destination. All right. The Pokemon Center. It does surprise me that the wild Pokemon are like eight, level 8. Um, I don't understand why that is. So the question is, what would I take out? So I... Uh, hmm. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Because is that Nimona there? Nope, it's Prima Donna Lady. It's the Prima Lady, right? So... Part of me kind of wants to take Gengar in. I don't know who to take out instead of... To replace him with. I want to keep Lucario. I want to keep Talonflame. Garganacle for sure. So it's going to be one of these three. Right? Um, Thunderbolt Fly, Dragon Pulse Surf. Thunderbolt Surf. So... I think it's probably going to be Raichu or Dragonite. Simply because they have kind of... Like, two of their moves are exactly the same, right? They both have Thunderbolt, they both have Surf. So then it's a case of flying and water, or fighting and grass. Uh, I've got fighting covered. I've got flying covered. Uh, so it does just come between dragon and grass, basically. Um, she has bug, which is not the same, but still... He terrestrializes into fighting. Lucario's got fighting down. He's got dragon down, but no dragon moves. Uh, I think, even though Raichu is a higher level, I think we're going to swap out Raichu for Gengar. I'm not convinced that is the right move, but it is the move we're making, and it's about to happen. All right, are we ready, people? Oh, we're triggering this already. Okay, let's go. Pokemon... Uh, League, the Elite Four. Let's do this thing. Hello, G. So, this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion. That's the plan. Oh, is held here in this building. Thank you, text messages, for not putting that sentence in one go. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, G. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Oh, thanks. She has weird hair. <laughs> oh, I was kind of expecting a bit more than that. Okay, are you the guy who's going to check my badges? Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Yes. Let's see here. G from Uber Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well. You may now proceed to the interview room. There's an interview? Do I have to apply? Oh, please don't tell me there's questions. <laughs> oh, there are questions. Okay, is it? Okay. This is a very different Pokemon League to what I remember. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Yes, I do. 
Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind. I do mind, because I'm not prepared for this at all. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Oh my days, it's like real life. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I walked, I rode my Pokemon, I came by flying taxi. I rode my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Uh, Uber Academy. You literally just told me that. Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to catch Pokemon. I came to become champion. Just for fun, I came to become champion. I mean, really, I came to beat Nimona so that she might join me on my team down the crater, what I'm calling now my crater crew, but that wasn't really an option, so I came to be champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Plus, your Pokemon outside are like level 8. That's nothing to me. I don't want level 8 Pokemon. I want level 58 Pokemon. <laughs> now, what do you intend to do if and when you become champion? I want to become stronger. I want to battle Nimona. I want to find treasure. Right, well, this is my honest answer. I want to battle Nimona. Um, I don't particularly care about becoming even stronger, and the game seems to really focus on finding the treasure as a whole concept thing. So I think the game wants me to say that one. This is the one I want to say. <laughs> what do I want to do? I mean, I could do that anytime, technically speaking. The game might not let me, but I c okay, let's let's find treasure. I think that's what. Okay, I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty, Larry? Which one's Larry? Um, I don't remember the name of the actual gym. Which gym was Larry in? Was it Medali? No, Medali was... No. Is it this one? Oh, no! Right, that's the ice one, right? Or well, that might be the ice one. Uh, Medley. Oh, no, I don't remember. One second. I'm going to have to check. Uh, okay, <laughs> excuse me while I cheat a moment. Um, Alexa, Alexa, where do I find Larry in Pokemon Violet? Oh. Okay. There we go. Am I cheating on my test? No, I knew which one it was, I just didn't know the name, okay? Nobody judge me. <laughs> also, if you guys have that particular voice activated machine in your house and it's on while you're watching this video, I apologize if I just set it off. I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? Well, that was Larry. Faux show. Sure. Don't look at me like that, it's true. I just asked Alexa. <laughs> I'm glad you seem to remember. <laughs> I'm glad you think that I remember. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Larry used? Yeah, he was normal. Wow, this is crazy. I didn't realize I had to remember all that information. Wonderful. I'd have taken notes if I knew that. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, G. I did. Don't ask me how many, because I have no idea, and I don't think you're going to let me check my Pokedex. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Uh, the Grass Cat Pokemon, because I had Sprigatito. Very good, very good. Wow, this is nerve-wracking. Now, please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become champion? I want to find my treasure. If I'm going to fail, I think it's going to be on that answer alone. You're smiling. Ah, yes, that's right. Okay. Is this a memory test? 
Okay, next is the final question for this interview. Do you want to battle? Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> uh, do you like Pokemon? Yes. I would not have played this many hours of the game if I didn't. Okay, you're thinking about it? Please tell me I passed. Good job, kiddo. That's not patronizing. <laughs> uh, that about wraps it up for the interview. Let's battle. And let me be the first to congratulate you. Yay! You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. Fantasmic. On your first try too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. Well, good for her. But anyway... Time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. So, oh, and you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. Okay, cool. So I get to fight all four of you, right? It's not like one of you interviews me and then that's it. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the League has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk. I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. I mean, I'm as ready as I am ever going to be. So here we go. The game is saving. We've done the interview. This is it, people. The Elite Four. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, green light above the doors. There we go. Whew. Let's see if we can remember who these four people are. And you're one of them, right? There's the little kid girl. There's the professor guy. And... Is Prima one of them? I forget. Okay, now then. Let's get started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. Okay, let's do this. With your amazing anime here. Boom! Okay, it's a water lecture. Um, not seen them before. I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up too soon. Kind of feel like I should have brought a whole bunch of like healing stuff as well. Right, let's start off with Aura Sphere see what this kind of does. Okay, that's fine. We will keep this. Earth power. Okay! But we're gonna go first, because we're faster. So hopefully this takes it out. Boom. Okay, cool. A karma rupt. What the heck's a karma rupt? Is, is karma rupt Okay, I'm going to switch into Dragon or Dragonite, because I think that Camerupt is the evolved form of Nunnel, and that's a fire Pokemon, right? It's like the thing with the little volcanoes on its back. I'm pretty sure it's a fire type. So, let's take up Camerupt. Is it? Yes. Okay, good. This is what I'm thinking. So, let's use Surf. And that should be super effective. Yes. Wow, it is super effective. Okay. Oof. Happy days, happy days. Garganak has gone up. A Don Fan. Right, the Don Fan is that grey elephant type thing. I think it's ground. I don't know if it's ground or steel. Oh my days. Um, Alright, let's keep Dragonite in, because if it is ground, then I can still use Surf. Super effective? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It is ground. Happy days. Alright, cool. Uh, Stone Edge. Oh, man alive. Alright, let's use Surf again. Hopefully I can heat up in between battles. Um, obviously the car really needs a good healing, but so far so good, alright, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. 
Oof. Uh, Doug Trio. Uh, okay, let's keep his current Pokemon because Doug Trio is definitely a ground type Pokemon. Um, it may use Dig, and if it does, then I will use Fly. Use Sandstorm. That's fine. I guess it's going to lower my accuracy, maybe. Uh, but Surf is definitely going to hit this thing. There you go, one shot hit. Good job, Dragonite. Now I'm really happy that I, um... Although Raichu would have done really well here as well, so... Oh! Claude... Claude Sire. I have zero idea what a Claude Sire is. Um... So, let's keep him in. Ah, <laughs> impressive. You really are something else, kiddo. Thanks. Is this your last one? I think this is his last one, right? Okay. Do I... Mm, I don't know anything about this thing. Um, it looks muddy. Oh! Is this from the brown whooper thing? So what is that? Is, uh, uh, let's... I'm, I think it might be a water type. Let's finish this. Go on, Clogsire, shake things up. Oh, he's going to terrestrialize, isn't he? If he does terrestrialize, yeah. Actually, that's quite good, because now I know what type it's going to be. Whereas right now, I'm not 100% sure. Please become a water type. It's a ground type. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, so Thunderbolt's not going to do anything to it. Uh, should have used Surf. So use Protect. Okay, cool. Because Thunderbolt will... Um, either not affect it or take away the protect. Yeah. All right. How does ground react to fly? Um. Should I use fly? In? I think surf is probably a better option, right? Let's see if I protect. It failed. Let's see if. Does, oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's not fun. Okay. Right. Let's use Fly and hopefully then the Sandstorm won't keep hitting me. Um, and I will reduce. Yeah, see, so it won't hit me with Toxic. That would have poisoned me. And I would have got hit by the sandstorm. Oh, it's the sandstorm still gets me. Okay. This thing is a bit of a pain in the butt. Alright, let's just fly and see how much that does. Does it do anything at all because it protect? No, it doesn't. And good, the sandstorm's gone. And I don't think he put the sandstorm there. So let's just fly again. Because uh, at least we're going to avoid every other attack. Uh, liquidation. I don't know what that does, but I'm glad I avoided it. <laughs> uh, so supply. Boom. Okay, cool. Excellent. One more fly. Hopefully he doesn't protect. Alright, fine. It's going to protect itself. I'm going to fly. Hopefully it uses something like toxic, so I can avoid it. Oh, I'm going to go first. Oh, excellent. Yay. I win. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit surprised. Um, I thought he was definitely going to take out Dragonite, for sure. Alright, I'm Dragonite 62, Lucario is up to 62, and we get to learn a new move. Dragon Dance? What does that do? I think that's a useless move for me, right? Um, the user previously performs a mystic powerful dance that boosts the attack and speed stat. No, thank you. You beat Rika of the Elite Four. Yay! <clears throat> <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. You look so happy. Oh, that's a lot of money. Woohoo! Okie dokie. Talk about unfair. No way I was ever going to win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. That was fun. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test. But who knows? I'm beginning to think that you might be one of the few that do, G. Better stay on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. They usually are. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Oh, it's the kid. Okay. Coming. 
I reckon she's going to be fierce. Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? <laughs> Avenge me. You bet I will. I reckon she's going to be like ghost or dark or psychic or something. Right, do I get to... Oh, it's saving. It's good. Alright, cool. So I get to heal up and stuff in between battles. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Um, Alright, 168. Uh, 120. 130 odd. Uh, I'm really bad at maths. So... Okay, uh, so 130 to 60 is about... I've got loads of those ones, so I can just use two of those. Get them to max. Um, and I'll do the same for Dragonite. Because I kind of need 30 and it's healing 20 at a time. And the other one heals 60 and I don't really want to do that. So, cool. Right. For this though, max HP. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, we've got 11 revives, that's great. Um, I got some cherry berry things. Uh, paralysis, sleeping, poisoned, burn, frozen. It would be able to restore 10 PP to a move. Oh. Be able to restore 10, okay. I don't know, I, I think... Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't know what she's got. So are you ready to face Poppy of the Elite Four? Yes, I am. All right, Popster, what you got? I do, I think she's gonna be like dark, psychic, kind of. It's cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye-bye, mister. <laughs> all my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off, you'll see. I can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come. She's slightly terrifying. There's a key. Alright. Poppy of the Elite Four. Let's not underestimate. Um, okay, I know what that is. And I'm pretty sure I've caught one, so go on, Roger. Smash him. Oh, right, so she's also got five. <laughs> oh, that's a good... Okay, cool. Boom. Oh! Stealth Rock? What's Stealth Rock do? Oh, okay. Oh, is that gonna... Throw the stones around? Okay. Is that going to... Uh, let's use that. Do something when other Pokemon come in, maybe. Is it one of those? Alright, cool. Well, that's good. First one down. Four more to go. We're doing okay. Uh, Bronzog? What is it with you people and this Bronzog thing? Um, What did I beat it with last time? Oh my days, I can't remember what I beat it with last time. I'm gonna switch out, was it Dragonite? It must have been. Garganacle didn't go in, did he? Um, did I send in Garganacle last time? Have all their moves been, oh no. Uh, right, let's send in Dragonite because I don't remember sending Garganacle. So, I may be remembering the fight outside. So I said in Dragonite, because I'm pretty sure Dragonite was the one who fought the last Bronzog. I hate this Pokemon so bad. Uh, effective, not very effective, not very effective, effective. Maybe it wasn't him then. Oops. Oh, because he came with half, I swapped him in. What did I hit him with then? No, I, I think I've made a huge, huge mistake. Um, Iron Head. Alright, I know it's not effective, but we're gonna fly just to avoid attacks. Um, is it Psychic? Was it Lucario? It must have been Lucario. Um, but that's fine, it's not effective, but it took him out. So it's crit. It's good. Uh, I think Dragonite might bite the dust in this battle. 
Although I could swap him up now, depending on what's coming up, right? A Corviknight. I've heard of Corviknight. Uh, it's a big fly bird thing. Hmm. Okay. However, what I am going to do is use a Hyper Potion on Dragonite, because he is my only electric option. And electric... See, it looks metallic. I don't know if it's like an electric steel, a uh, fly-in steel. Brave Bird has also literally just occurred to me that Dragonite is also fly-in. Um, <laughs> at least it's Thunderbolt, Bazinga. Right, super effective. So all I have to do is survive one more hit. Oh, which we do. Let's hit with recoil. Does it take itself out? No. So let's thunderbolt it again. That will take it out. Okay. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Boom. Okay, a mag. A magnazone. So I, a magnazone. Is that? I'm going to switch Pokemon because I think that is an evolved form of Magna Knight. Mag, Mag, the little Gen 1 guy, Magna Knight. Um, I think it's like the big flying saucer thing, right? Which means it's electric. So we're going to bring in Garganacle. Yes, it is. Okay, it is what I'm thinking of. Uh, stones dug into Garganacle. That's fine. Now it's electric, so what? Let's use Salt Cure because we all know it's my favourite. Uh, light screen, that's fine. It's stronger against Salt Cure, however, Salt Cure will continue to do damage to it. Uh, it's not effective, that's fine. Because we're looking for the long term damage rather than. There we go. Hit by Salt Cure. Phantasmic. Right, now we're going to use Earthquake. Again, not sure it's going to survive very well because. Okay. Yeah, good. It's levitating. Super effective, there we go. Excellent day. Oh, this is tense. This is so tense. A Tinkerton. Now, a Tinkerton is steel and fairy type, right? What? Do you know? Just. <laughs> I feel like this is a really bad idea, but I can't help myself. Do, do those spike things just exist the entire time? I'm not scared, my last Pokemon will turn things around. Oh, oh this is it, okay. Poppy said no, Tinkerton. It's Tinkerton versus Tinkerton. I cannot see a thing past that hammer. <laughs> and we both mold brick, so. Okay, let's use Gigaton Hammer. It's time to get... Oh, no! Yeah, okay, I keep forgetting about the whole terrestrializing thing. Uh, alright. What are you making it? Oh, it's steel. Oh, that's not good, because I just hit you with a steel move. And now you are fully steel. Uh, you know, it's going to use Gigaton Hammer, and because of the fairy side, it's going to be, yeah, devastating. Um, don't really want to use revives, but I also don't want to. Let me have this does again. We can terrestrial. I forget what. Is it ground? Is ground any good against those two? Oh, it is, yeah. Um. I want to switch into Talon Flame, but what I don't want to do is get hit by something crazy. And I've got a bunch of revives, so I'm going to let it take me out. We're going to reduce it a bit. 
Okay, quick break. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see rough play. See if that does much. It avoided the attack. Okay. I kind of need... There we go. I needed to take me out so that I can bring in Talonflame. Uh, because Fire should wipe the floor with this now. Light screen wore off. Excellent. And I'm going to have to do a lot of healing before the next battle. But it means we're halfway through. So that's cool. Oh, man. Right, let's do a flamethrower. I should be going first because I'm a higher level. There we go. Excellent. Now, I just need... Excellent. Oh, thank you, Talon Flame. All right. Let's do flamethrower again. And that should be it. Poppy is done. So she was not... Dark Psychic or of course, I was quite surprised by that. So there we are. Happy days. Apart from Tinkerton. Um We're good. Uh Mula <laughs> Sorry kid. Oof. Wah wah. I wanted to take revenge on Eureka. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. <laughs> Alright, who's next? It's your turn, Mr. Larry. What? Oh, shut up. No. <laughs> oh, no. Is there... Tell me it's not because of the questions. Hello there, it's me, Larry. But you're a gym leader. Did I know he was one of the Elite Four? I don't think I did. Is this why you asked me those questions? If I'd known that was going to happen, I'd have lied and been like, which one was the easiest one? I can swap out Pokemon. Shut the front door. I can swap Pokemon in and out. All right, well, that changes everything. In that case, let's bring back in Raichu instead of Tinkerton. That is totally new to me. Um, okay, so, uh, and this all depends on if he has, um... See, but now we're talking about levels and jazz. Yeah, let's keep everything else in there because I don't know for sure what he's bringing, right? So, let's just use a bunch of these because I've got tons. Of, it's going to take two minutes to fill everything. Um, but let's just heal everything back up. Let's uh, use another hyper potion on Dragonite. Um, 30. Yeah, I think that math works out. Yeah, awesome. And then it's the little one. Awesome. And 40 to 80. Yeah, let's use one of those anyway. That's fine. That shouldn't knock us up. Okay, cool. We're all good. If he is normal, then Lucario is going to have a great time here. Are you ready to face Larry? Heck yes. Alright, round two, Larry. Or round three, really. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four, too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon, since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But, well, the boss told me to use different types here. So, if you have any complaints, please take them up with the Premier. Oh, okay, so he's not a normal type gym here. Who have we got then, Larry? Anyway, time to get to work. And now I'm really glad I didn't change everything out for fighting types. Alright. Larry of the Elite Four. Boom. It's a grass. I want... Talon Flame. Well, I'll be trying my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. But it's also grass. So, yeah. 
Um... Yeah, I don't really want to be swapping and changing in and out that much. Probably should have, because he's using Sunny Day now. Um, I am. I'm just going to switch to Talon Flame. Oh, Flame Talon. I forget which way from that goes. Oh, man. Talon Flame. Okay. Flame throw out this thing, and it'll be good. So it's A slash. That's fine. Okay, game for a boom. Awesome. Cook bananas. <laughs> Alright, do you want to go for level? Yeah, awesome. 62. Uh, Star Raptor. I will switch Pokemon. Oh, let's send out Raichu. Yeah, since we brought him into the team, let's send him out. And we'll keep Dragonite for another time. Because Raichu has 100% fresh moves. Whereas Dragonite does not. Uh, the PP on some of these moves are going down. And if he's using exclusively flying, then Raichu is going to have a field day here. Thunderbolt. Boop. Okay, this is going much better than the first time we faced Larry. <laughs> oh, Altaria. Now, mm, Altaria is the cloud Pokemon, right? Which I'm pretty sure is a dragon type. Hmm. Is it dragon flying? We are going to risk it with Raichu. Yes, it is. Okay, because if it hits me with a dragon move, um, it's going to hurt uh, Dragonite a lot. So if Raichu doesn't do this, then we'll bring out Dragonite and he can deal with it. Um, Flamethrower. Wow. Not what I was expecting. Sunlight faded. Fantastic. Let's just keep whacking this thing with Thunderbolt. Hopefully, it will also get paralyzed in the process. Dragon Pulse. Yeah, see, that would have really hurt Dragonite. Not so much my Raichu. So, one more hit with Thunderbolt. Good job, Raichu. Good job. And now I slightly regret not spending extra time again. Or. Okay, that is that dancing flamingo bird, right? The red one. Is it? Oh! Uh, okay, no, I have no idea what that is. But apparently I've seen one. Because I know it's effective and it's not effective. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I forget what I was saying before. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Because I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Is this down to the last one now? 64, 62. Uh, flamingo. Oh, that is legit a flamingo. Uh, so let's keep him in. You're even stronger than before. Guess I don't get a break today. No, you do not, my friend. Larry sent out flamingo. <laughs> Super effective. Let's go. At the risk of messing up my suit a bit, it's time to get some wind in my bucks. I, I, again, wasn't paying attention. And every single time I forget about the stupid terrestrializing thing. It's flying. Oh, my day could not be any better. Right, Joe? Send the boat. Pop those balloons. Alright. Number three of the Elite Four. Down you go. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, so the next guy is the professor man, right? The guy from the school with the weird green coat thing and the ponytail on his head. Woo-wee! Well, that took the wind from under my wings. Sorry, man. Uh, you should have stuck with your normal types. I would have struggled so much against those. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder the Prima likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. <laughs> it's your turn, Hassel. Come on, David. Mr. Hasselhoff. Now, where could he be? Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hasselhoff. 
Larry, you, you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassle! <laughs> Hassle, you're up next. There we go. There he is. Mr. Weird Ponytail himself. He's tall, isn't he? Hello there, G. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? Wow, you people are so friendly with each other. Okay, now I have zero idea uh, what kind of Pokemon and what kind of levels we're looking at. So, we're going to stick with this team. Uh-huh. Because I'm assuming that I'm fighting the Mona at the end of this, so... There we go. Pants, fantastic. Alright. So, here we go. The last guy of the Elite Four. But in a surprising twist. Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to leave it there because time is up for today. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Violet. Join in tomorrow where we will be taking on Professor Hassel. And my assumption is we're taking on Nimona as well. Thank you again for watching this episode. Um, I have been the Atomic Ninja G and you guys have been awesome. I will catch you tomorrow. Bye, Ninja Clan.